Hey everybody, welcome to the Ever Canadian. Pete here. Thank you so much for visiting the channel, hanging out on the channel, especially for all my returning viewers. I really appreciate you being here watching my Steam Deck content. It's uh, proven to be probably the most popular content on the channel, which is really awesome because I literally love my Steam Deck to death. If I could hug it, I would. Actually, I am going to hug it right now, but you know, I absolutely love my Steam Deck. Now, this video is all about five really playable and fun MMORPGs that you can play right now on your Steam Deck. You can run dungeons in the on the couch, in your pajamas, in bed, on the bus, on the train. You literally can run dungeons. You can do PvP. You can be a superhero in these, or you can be, you know, you can be a swashbuckling pirate. Or you can jump on dragons in World of Warcraft. So we're going to talk about five games on the Steam Deck that are very playable. Now, you you have to go into the Steam Deck knowing none of these games were created with the Steam Deck in mind. But they were created with the PC in mind. So there's a lot of ways to get around control concerns on these games. Now, for the most part, these are five games I've spent extensive amount of time playing pre Steam Deck and post Steam Deck. So quite a few of these games I've tried and played on the PC way back in the past. Some I've tried for the first time on the Steam Deck. So I'm going to do multiple videos in this series, but I wanted to start off with a genre that's very near and dear to my heart is MMORPGs. Are really are the, the main PC games I've played for any length of time. So we're going to get into it right away. We're going to go way back. We're going to talk about games that over a decade old. So this is going to be fun and a game that's less than a year old. We're almost a year old. We'll get to it. All right. So the first game we're going to talk about is Dungeons and Dragons Online from Standing Stone Games. I had never played this game, um, or I don't remember ever playing this game until the Steam Deck. So I booted it up on the Steam Deck, and it plays fantastic. This game, I think, was originally developed as it's kind of one of those MMORPGs that you know, is kind of built with a controller in mind. There's limited amount of abilities that I've experienced so far. So getting a control scheme to work on this was quite easy and quite straightforward. And the beauty of the Steam Deck, deck is there are community created controls specifically for the Steam Deck and tons to choose from. So whether you want camera control on your sticks or you want to use the the tactical pads on the on the Steam Deck, or you want to use touchscreen, there's a control scheme for not only Dungeons & Dragons Online, but for every game I mentioned here. So why, for what I really enjoyed about playing Dungeons & Dragons Online with Steam Deck was how it's based around, it's instant based, it's a game in which it's pick up and play, the dungeons are super fun, and everything just works great. The graphics are great on the Steam Deck, and it's really fun to play. It's one of those uh, games that are kind of you know, lost in the World of Warcraft, Lord of the Rings, shadow of that era, era, but it is a super fun game. I highly recommend it, and it's free to play, which is beautiful, right? The next game on the list that, you know, I had a little trouble finding a control scheme that works for me, but I found a new control scheme. It's actually working on a follow-up video for this game. It is New World. Yes, New World by Amazon Games. This game is probably a year old maybe a little bit more than a year old i'm not sure um is a game that at, came out with so much hype i mean so much hype and so of course i jumped in on it and i started playing it on the steam deck and i struggled first to find a control scheme that i really like but i finally found one that the community created that pretty much makes the controls just like an xbox one controller so apparently they're going to be building a native controller support soon but New World, fantastic game. It's, like I said, one of the brand new MMORPGs that have come out. And it's also a Western MMORPG. So a lot of the new MMOs we've been getting comes out of Korea and China and, and have those sensibilities with them. There's some really good games there, but they're not my cup of tea. So New World for me just feels like going back 15 years uh, in time when a lot of the MMOs I kind of broke in with were, were Western MMOs and that design philosophy. So... It's not just a grind fest, in my opinion, anyway. Now, I've only made it up midway in the game, but I'm having a blast. So New World plays great. It's just a fantastic game on, on the Steam Deck. Again, go in with the caveat knowing you'll have to find a control scheme that fits you. 
Now, the next game is not a game that runs natively on Steam Deck, but I've done numerous videos and I've linked to a channel. It's called World of Warcraft. Yeah, like you need to be introduced to this. World of Warcraft, you can get it set up quite easily, so straightforward. If you flip over to the Steam OS um, and get it configured, you can run the launcher, the Blizzard launcher, directly through your Steam, your Steam page. Uh, and for me, why I included it here is because it, for me, it's important because World of Warcraft is probably one of the most important MMOs ever created, if not the most important MMOs ever created. And the fact that I can run dungeons and play it on my Steam Deck with just a little minimal amount of work. I had to mention it in this list. So go check out my videos. I've linked to a few channels out there in the YouTube verse that have great setup um, ways to get this running. So this one comes with a bit of a caveat. So, you know, for me, I wanted to include in the list because I think anybody who's into MMORPGs really needs to play this game. And the fact that I've been playing Dragonflight on it and having no problems at all using the control mod on it, it's just, anyway, it's just a fantastic experience on the Steam Deck. Again, that's a caveat knowing you have to do a little bit of tiny work to get it set up. And uh, But if I could do it, anybody can do it. Okay, the next one on my list is Champions Online. So Champions Online is a superhero MMORPG that I think is one of those games that should have been on console right from the start. It has built-in native controller support for Xbox 360. Legit, right out of the box. Now, getting to work on the Steam Deck took me just a little bit of time to find a control um, control scheme that I like. Now, just say, just because it has it built in with 360 control doesn't necessarily mean Steam Deck will identify and do a one-to-one -one swap of all the buttons. So I found a good controller, and when I got into it, it's just fantastic. It is so easy to pick up and play your superhero. You're going around saving people. Man, there's even a map about Canada up there in that game. So I absolutely love it. So Champions Online, check it out. Again, free to play. So, so far on this list, even World of Warcraft is free to play, I think, up to level 20. New Worlds of Buy to play. Dungeons and Dragons is free to play. And Champions Online is free to play. But what I really like Champions Online is it's not in the fantasy set. It is superhero. It is fun. And most of the games I talk about and I play in the MMO space are fantasy. So I do love this superhero uh, game. And I love the fact that I can play it on my Steam Deck, which is really cool in my opinion. Now, the, the one game that is just out of the box, works 100% perfectly fine. You don't even need to update anything. Just put it on controller support. And I, it's probably one of my favorite MMORPGs I've ever played. I absolutely love it. It's Final Fantasy XIV. It, I think, is one of the best ways ever to play Final Fantasy XIV because you can take it everywhere you go. I am not a fan of Final Fantasy fan, but the story in this game... The ease of play, how everything just works perfectly on the Steam Deck because it was built for consoles. It was built for the PlayStation. I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy XIV came out on the PlayStation 3, 4, and now 5. It's just an amazing game. It is free to play, I think, for the first 20 something levels. Then you, it's, you know, buy to play after that and a subscription. So you need to buy the base game. There's like a ton of, uh, of expansions. And all of these games have tons of content and are getting updated, with the exception of Champions Online. Tons of content there, but it's not getting updated regularly. Hasn't been for at least five years. But Final Fantasy XIV is amazing. It's probably the most popular subscription-based MMO currently on the market, and it's well worth it. And playing it on my Steam Deck is just truly epic. I absolutely love it. Um, you, Again, you have to buy into that one. Uh, that's that's going to be a concern for people now. If you just want to stick with free to play and you want to have really good experiences, Dungeons and Dragons Online, World of Warcraft at level twenty, I believe, um, you know, and Champions Online are, are three great uh, games that I can attest for work absolutely fine. And I've got videos on all of these games up on my channel. Go check them out, and you can watch me stumble and bumble through them. So there you go. These are five very playable MMO RPGs on the Steam Deck. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Feel free to, um, you know, drop a comment, hit that like, ring that bell, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Bye, everyone.